Hi, it's Lisa. Yesterday I posted a video about Authority Nutrition's article 20 Mainstream Nutrition Myths and it was just a brief video and didn't really go into that much detail about each myth and it wasn't really intended to, it was kind of like an introduction to what future videos I'll be making that do go into the science more and do show the studies more but I did include links in the description box for people to check out if they wanted to and it seems like not everyone did go to the description box to look at the articles that I posted but that's okay so I saw that Authority Nutrition shared my video on his Facebook page and I saw quite a lot of the comments on his Facebook page and I've written down a list of topics that I'd like to go into, into in future videos and one of the main things that people were concerned about is that I said sugar cures diabetes and people were shocked and kind of angry that I even said that but I do want to make a video on that topic in fact I have made videos in the past about sugar that it having a high carbohydrate low fat diet does reverse diabetes and it does not cause obesity um, so anyway I'll probably make a video about sugar not causing diabetes again um, also I'll make a video about eggs whether they are healthy or not um, someone mentioned in the Facebook comments about beef having a high insulin index so I'll go into detail about that in another video um, someone also mentioned on the share on the comments that Chris Gunners shared on his authority page that I have not been vegan long enough and that um, it's not a diet that can be done long term without harmful effects so I definitely want to make a video on that um, someone else or it seemed like some people weren't really clear about the rice diet so I'll probably talk about that in another video also I know that some people have gotten results whether weight loss or lowering cholesterol through a low carb diet and I do want to talk about that a bit um, I'm not totally against low carb diets but I don't think that it's a sustainable solution for most people to be on a low carb diet and I think a high carbohydrate low fat plant based diet is much more sustainable both for your health and for the planet um, some people have mentioned that uh, why didn't I contact Authority Nutrition directly? Why did I just make a video? But actually I did make videos in the past and I posted them to his page for him to look at and he blocked me um, even though I was trying to debate in a reasonable way. So unfortunately I can't reply to some of the comments on his Facebook page even though I'd like to but maybe my videos will answer some of your questions. Uh, another person mentioned that Authority Nutrition isn't the only information based website. What about Gary Taub's Diet Doctor, Chef Pete Evans? And um, you've made some good points there. Uh, actually, I would like to make more videos about Chef Pete Evans and Gary Taub's, but I think videos like that have already been made. Um, for example, with Gary Taub's, there's another YouTube channel called Plant Positive and he does go through Gary Taub's arguments quite well and if you haven't checked out Plant Positive's channel I recommend that you do because he is much more of an expert on the science than I am thank you for sharing my video on your page Chris Gunners I hope that we can continue the discussion and it's not my intention to hate on anyone I don't hate you I think you're a nice guy and I'm really grateful that you defended me even when people were attacking my appearance or even calling me a vegan zealot um, there's a lot of personal attacks on the Facebook comments but I just shrug it off and it doesn't really offend me actually but there was one comment that was made by Jeff Questard and he does kind of agree with what I say and he says it in a very reasonable manner and I'd like to read it out. I think a good number of the articles on authority nutrition are sensible. They deal with unambiguously good foods. I'll look at her critique to see what it's about but I assume it's the frequent insistence there is no danger in fat. That is a bold and controversial claim. It's quite clear that saturated fat contributes to diabetes just to cite one obvious example. There are a number of ways the high protein foods and high fat foods your audience favours lead to cancer and heart disease as well. These aren't vegan lies. 
It's science as professional consensus best understands it today. There's a reason virtually every health organization on earth recommends a low saturated fat diet, high in grains and vegetables, and to insist otherwise just because we love eggs and bacons is narcissism. And authority nutrition uses very absolute language in claiming the unambiguous value of a low carb diet. But encouraging people to eat low carb and telling them it is the single best way to eat is encouraging them to eat high protein and high fat, which does have some serious risks the way most people do it. And it encourages people to avoid the universe of healthful compounds in grains and fruit that are your best bet at protecting yourself from the problems high fat foods will lead to. Low carb diets are considered dangerous by almost everyone. Just because she is vegan doesn't make her a propagandist. An overwhelming majority of nutritionists would have a problem with both those ideas, that saturated fat has no risks and low carb diets are the most healthful way to eat. I know there are studies that muddy these waters and we can keep talking about them, but now in 2015, most nutritionists would not support these ideas, at least not as boldly and without reservation as you guys do. So while I'm sure there are disagreements, I think you should walk back your attack on her as a propagandist. The rice study someone mocks below is a real thing, and I've seen people cure diabetes on all carb, vegetable and fruit diets. My own doctor was thrilled to see me switch to an all plant, low fat diet when I had diabetes 150 pounds ago. When you cut down saturated fat to virtually nothing, most people, even diabetics, have no problem with even processed sugar. If that is typical of the studies she cites, she's not making that up. And I think your followers should resist attacking a woman with an argument on the basis of her body. That's pretty low. But I do want to give you credit for posting. I am going to assume it was in the interest of real dialogue and not, for instance, firing up a mob of people to go over and put comments on her page. If you posted this for real feedback, kudos. That is how it should be done. So thank you, Jeff, for that comment. And I think you ma made some really good points there. And I definitely did not make my video to hate Chris Gunners or anything malicious like that. I'm going to be making videos in future to go into more detail and point to the science. But for now, this video is just to say thank you and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.